Hey everybody, this is Tiffany with Nittany's Crafts and I'm here with a little tutorial on desk calendars. Um, it, would in, it was inspired by Antonio Makes off of YouTube. Um, my measurements are a little bit different, but anyway, you need a nine by four and a half sheet of paper. Um, the mat size paper is four by three eighths and two and seven eighths and the piece that you put the calendar on is two and three eighths by three and a quarter so yeah this is a really easy project you can get those calendars at dollar tree and there's actually three calendars instead of one and you pull them apart and just staple the all all the 12 months together so you get three calendars so yeah you'll need a stapler some glue um some double-sided tape and any kind of embellishment that you want to use i'm using this little bow and yes once again i'm showing y'all the die um i got this bow die from walmart.com this i just love this die y'all i know i show y'all every video but anyway i love it so I just wanted to share that with y'all again. But yeah, this is a very easy project. I love it. I've given these to my family and friends. Here we've got the score lines at three and one eighth, six and a quarter, seven and a quarter, and eight and a quarter. And what we're going to do next is um, fold the fold on the score lines because we want good creases so it will stand up properly. And the paper I'm using, y'all, is that Prima Quartz paper. One of one of my all time favorites and here I'm showing you that we're folding it. I guess you could call it the accordion style. And like I said, be sure to crease those down really good. And there's that accordion style right there. And next, um, I'm going to put down um, the piece that's four and three eighths by two and seven eighths. And like I said, um, on Antonio Makes YouTube channel, for this tutorial, his measurements, some of them were a little different, but yeah. So I'm putting down the, the wet glue. And the reason why I'm using wet glue is because um, I'm using that glitter glue. So it works really good and yeah. I use the red line for the calendar because I had the staples on the back. So I wanted to make sure that it laid down really good. Otherwise, I would have used the, the glitter glue. So that's the first layer. And the next layer, once again, is two and three eighths by three and a quarter and it really depends on how big you want like the border around the calendar um, you could go smaller or bigger or however you want the size of your border to be on that on that piece There you have those two layers. And now I'm going to put some red line on the back of the calendar. And 
And also, I was thinking, you know, these are some good craft fair. Um, well, this is a good craft fair idea. I think these are so cute. They could be teacher's gifts. Your friends and families at work in offices or just, you know, and I even thought about um, doing some with magnets on the back where they don't have to stand up, but you can put them on your refrigerator. That's an idea. Maybe I'll do a tutorial on that. So now we're just going to close this up. And like I said, this is art glitter glue. And it's going to hold really good. So and there's that. And yeah, um, I'm showing there where you can add embellishments to the back of that. Maybe some lace or some inspirational quote, quotes. And now I'm getting ready to add that bow and I got a flat back pearl in the middle. And that's going to do it for my calendar. And now I'm getting ready to show you a couple of more that I made. Um, this one here with the Prima paper is double-sided paper. And some of these are just single-sided paper. You know, it, it's whatever you want to use. And whatever embellishments you want to add or don't add. or It's how you want to make it. Well, guys, thank y'all for stopping by and watching. And I appreciate y'all and I appreciate the new subscribers. See y'all next time. Bye-bye.